understand the difference that is there between the AU chair and AUC and any other uh, uh, leadership uh, organs that are within uh, the AU. Uh, thank you. Now, before we go into maybe the structures within the AU, uh, I've seen also yeah. from the mainstream media, uh, you know, th that confusion, particularly online, um, whereby the distinction between the AU and the AU Commission. And maybe now let me also introduce that we also have the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, uh, which is also a commission with its own chairperson. <laughs> So we have so, so two commissions, and then we have three chairs now, including the the African Union chair. So the African Union chair is uh, the leader of all the heads of states uh, that is appointed for a period of one year, and uh, currently uh, is held by the president of Mauritania. So that is the AU chair. It is uh, legally, it is more of a, a, a ceremonial position, uh, but it has um, significance in terms of spearheading uh, what AU uh, you know, needs to do here and there. Then we have the African Union Commission, which is the secretariat, what we call the implementing of the African Union. Uh, I will come back to it. Then we have the um we have the commissions uh, uh which is uh, in charge of the human rights which i talked about which now sits uh in banjo in the gambia and the chair currently is a professor from congo drc and so these ones are three different uh uh titles and uh, they serve different purposes within uh the eu framework now if you look at the one for the human rights it has nothing to do with the Constitutive Act, which I talked about, the one which forms the AU. That one emanates from the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, which was signed in 1981. It was signed in Nairobi, but it was named after Banju, which is in the Gambia, for the purpose that the president of Gambia at that time brokered a deal that made it possible for the African states to sign that particular charter. Because at that uh, during that period of time, you know, there were so many challenges, especially within the EAC, the um, 